So, do you want rock hard abs? Do you want a lean midsection? Do you want a six pack, right? Those are all buzzwords. Give me a six pack, I want rock hard abs. It's like doing that takes some, not a lot of work, but it takes intentionality. Is that a word, intentionality? <laughs> so it takes healthy eating, so you have to eat right. Because just think, every bad thing you put in your body, guess where it goes? Right here. <laughs> so that's sugar, you know, cookies, cakes, alcohol, everything goes right here. Okay, so what you eat, it's actually the most important thing. And then the next important thing is exercise and targeting your abs and your core. So that's why I wanted to talk about it today is because it's summertime. People want to look their best. They want, most importantly, feel their best. We don't necessarily need rock hard abs, right? We just want to feel the best that we can and look the best that we can look. I personally don't like the look of women having the rock hard six pack because it's very unnatural for a woman. I prefer the nice lines. Um, and let me just tell you, <laughs> my youngest is almost 20 and I still like wearing a bikini. You know, you can judge, go ahead and judge. <laughs> And I, I don't like working out and showing my midsection, but I'll do it when I'm going in the water. So I, I know it works, you guys. <laughs> so today I thought um, we're gonna do some isometric abs. Isometric abs are awesome and they're hard and they're different. So we wanna keep changing it up. So I wanna show you some different exercises. And I also wanna do some cardio with you. So we're gonna get it going. It's only 10 minutes. We're gonna do five of abs, five of cardio. Strength training is also important when you wanna work your midsection but we're just gonna focus on cardio today. You guys ready to get started? Let's do it. All right, find some space. We're going down on the ground. We're gonna start with a hollow hold, okay? So a hollow hold, I'm gonna hold it like this. So my lower back is down, I'm looking straight over my feet and I'm reaching forward. An alternative to this would be to bend your legs, okay? But keep reaching forward, keeping your shoulders off the ground, okay? Hollow hold. I'm looking right at my toes, and my whole midsection is contracted, tight. Please breathe. <laughs> I know it sounds like, duh, we have to breathe, but honestly, we have to think about it. Sometimes when we're concentrating, we'll stop breathing. Come on, keep holding. Lift those shoulders. Don't fall backwards. Keep holding. Keep holding. Awesome. I'll give you a little stretch in between each exercise we do just so your body can kind of, whoo, literally breathe for a second. All right, we have less than 10 seconds. You guys with me? You doing it? Three, two, whoo, stretch it out. All right, we're gonna take it to a right bicycle. So you guys are probably used to doing these fast, right? One after the other. We're gonna hold this for one minute. If you need to take a break, take a break. Okay, so my elbow is coming to the outside of my knee. My other leg is extended. And my shoulder, my right shoulder, my right elbow is up, is off the ground. And I'm just holding. So my right oblique muscle is contracted the whole time. So remember I was talking to you about those nice lines? Hello, good morning. It's right here. Those obliques are working overtime right now. That's right. Keep breathing. Keep holding if you need a break. Take a break and then join us again. But we're just holding this. Isn't it crazy how just holding a move works so intensely? Keep going, less than 10, then we're gonna to go to the other side. You know where else we're feeling this? In our quadricep of this leg right here. Woo, all right, switch. I gotta switch my timer over. Sorry, I'm not facing you. I feel like I'm being rude. <laughs> so elbow to the outside of your knee, shoulder up, leg extended, hold it, hold it. Woo, obliques give you the nice lines down front. I think very feminine lines uh, down the front of your abdominal um, area. And it also trims your so-called muffin top. I've had women come to me and say, get rid of my muffin top. Working your obliques will do that. Keep going, you guys, keep going, keep holding. Come on, don't let it go. Keep your shoulder up, we've got 15 seconds, okay? Keep going, 10 seconds, woo, feeling it. Three, 
three, two, and one, and shake it out. Goodness, goodness gracious. All right, right X. So your body's in an X. I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna hold this, right? If you don't wanna do that, just lift your shoulder. Very similar to the bicycle, but a little bit different, getting in there a little bit more. Guess where else it's gonna work? <laughs> Our leg. So get that twist in, reach to the outside of that ankle, arm is up, it's like a full body hold. I need my timer back over here. Come on, we're 30 seconds in, you can do it, keep holding. If you need a break, take a break. Reach, right here you guys, right here. That uh, oblique again. <sighs> really focusing on that, awesome. Come on, hold up, come on quads, we got this. We got this, you guys can do it. Take a break if you need to. 10, nine, eight. Then we're gonna get up, we've got one more, and we're gonna get up and we're gonna do cardio. And shake it out. Oh my goodness, my obliques. Really feeling it. All right, and then come up. And I'm gonna hold here. Or you can just hold like this, okay? Seriously. You guys feeling this? It's just different holding and not moving with your abdominals. Those muscles are firing hard and they don't get a break. So keep breathing, okay? We're 30 seconds in. Woo! Then we'll do a quick stretch. Pick up your mat or if you have a mat and then we're gonna do just five minutes of cardio. Come on, hang in there, breathe through it. You can do it. Talk to yourself, I can do this, I can do this. I am strong enough. I want results, right? You gotta do the hard work to get the good results. Three, two, and one. Oh, I am not kidding you guys. Woo, sore. <laughs> I like sore, so I'm probably a bad judge of, woo, give me the sore, give me the sore. Sore means change. Sore means progress. Sore means you worked hard, <laughs> right? All right, I'm gonna reset my timer. So you guys ready for cardio? Make sure you have some room around you. We're gonna be moving forward and backward, okay? Clear? All right, here we go. We're gonna start with some butt kicks. So bring those heels all the way up. Okay, this is not a jog. This is you're working your hamstrings. And then your arms are pushing forward and up. Come on, keep lifting those heels. Alternative is here. Take the jump up. You're still working those hamstrings and glutes. So abdominals benefit from cardio and strength work. They benefit from full body work. So when I work out, with my clients and my girlfriends, we use dumbbells. Dumbbells automatically turn on your core. So every single move we're doing, we're working our core as well. Keep lifting those heels. Woo! One more. Awesome. All right, jack legs, jack taps are here. Low impact. Tap. Great. Low. High. Good job. Good work. Keep going. Getting our heart pumping. Today, I'm feeling my ass. My obliques right now. They're talking to me. In a good way. Keep going, 15 seconds. Come on. Five minutes of cardio straight is no joke. We're not breaking. Woo! Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna do high knee jump rope. Forward and back. High knees, here, right? It's not a jog. Just like those butt kicks, I was bringing my heels up. Working your arms in that jump rope, 
movement. Lift those knees. That's it. Low impact. Here. Here, okay? That's it. Anyone can do it. Just need to be disciplined. Just like in what we put in our bodies. I'm gonna go have a protein shake after this with extra PB2 for more protein. Three speed skates to a pencil jump. So it's one, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump, low impact. One, two, three, come on your toes, okay? Reach. Come on, really get high on that jump. One, two, three, reach. That's it. Like right here, how tall are you? This tall. Keep going. You guys, we have one more. So on Saturday morning, 8 a.m., I'm gonna be YouTube live at my outdoor boot camp. If you can't come, if you're far away, join me on YouTube at 8 a.m. Saturday morning. It'll be a great workout. Full body. Fast feet, you guys. Fast feet. Focus on that speed. We're gonna do four, three, two, one jump squat. Up here, four, three, two, one jump squat. Four, three, two, one, jump squat. Come on, four, three, two, one, jump. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Come on, get low. You can do it, you can do it. Woo! Four, three, two. Did you guys do the challenge with me on Tuesday? Oh my gosh, I'm still feeling it. You notice I'm saying that with a smile. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Ooh, one more, four, three, two, one. Oh. I'm gonna cool you down. Look, it says, are you running inside? Yeah, I kind of am. Ooh, cool it down, you guys. Shoulder roll, bring those heels up, heart rate is up. Keep your head up and side to side. Let's cool it down, get our heart rate down. So in 10 minutes, we turned on our midsection and we got some good cardio in, working our heart, our lungs, and our muscles in those exercise movements. So always when you exercise, make sure you bring down your heart rate before you stop, you never wanna just stop, okay? You always wanna keep moving, no matter what you're doing, if you're stepping, or if you're just lifting your knees, just keep it low, and keep your arms below your shoulders. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Notice your heart rate going down. All right, I think we're good to go. Thanks for joining me. Hi, Steph. Hi, Lisa. Awesome. All right, you guys. You make it a great day and keep doing what you can to take care of yourselves. Bye, you guys.